It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> Hola, it's me, Nat. And it's me, Essie. Wait, what? <laughs> Just kidding. It's me, Mirabelle. And it's Isabella. Well, sis, what are we up to today? We're up to something really yummy. As you can see, we're here in our kitchen and we are going to show you guys how to make some of our favorite foods around the world. That's right! You guys know we're from Colombia, but we love to eat different kinds of food. Uh-huh, because we believe that every country has something good to offer when it comes to food. So let's begin! Um, Mirabelle, you're gonna go first, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes! I'll go first, I'll go first! So the first food that we're going to make are... Dun 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 dun! Beef tacos! Woohoo! Let's see everything that we need to make it. We're going to need some avocado slices. Ground beef. Don't worry, it's all cooked and ready to go. We're also going to need some beans. Again, cooked and ready to go. We'll need some cheese. Let's also get some lettuce. And some tomatoes. We're also going to need some taco shells. Lime, and last but not least, a taco seasoning mix for that extra kick of flavor. Now let's put everything together. So first thing you want to do is grab your tacos, here it is, and fill it up with all the ingredients that you want. You can definitely mix and mash the ingredients however you want it. For me, I want to have my ground beef in there. Here we go. Then let's add some black beans. Black beans. Ooh. Gotta have some cheese. Here's some cheese. And finally, some tomatoes. Ooh, let's squeeze that in there. There we go. Mmm, this looks yummy. Perfect! And my taco is ready to go. Wait, that rhymes. <laughs> mm. Mm, delicious. Okay, Essie, let's make you your taco. Sounds good, Mirabelle. So here is my taco shell. And the next step is to put whatever ingredients I want, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Okay, well, I definitely want some of the ground beef. I love avocado, so I'll add some of that. I also love lettuce. I think I'll get some tomatoes too. And a little squeeze of lime. Okay, Mirabelle, look, I made my taco. You sure did, Essie. And that taco looks delicious. Now that you and I have a taco, we gotta make one for our besties. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. Oh, I'm sure they will. Okay, here we have our taco shell. We'll put our black beans, some cheese, avocado, and lettuce. And squeeze some lime. Here you go, besties. Here's your taco. Enjoy. Thanks, sis. Okay, for my turn, I'm going to show you guys how to make chicken pot pie. First up, we are going to need some pie crusts, like these. To fill up our pie crusts, we are going to need some chicken. It wouldn't be a chicken pot pie without chicken, right? Then we'll add some carrots, green beans. We're also going to add onions and some potatoes. Okay, looks like we got everything. Let's get cooking. So the first thing we want to do is to prep our ingredients. Let's get the bones out from this chicken meat. I can help you, Isabella. Let's see. Take this out. That's the bone. We don't need that inside our pot pie. And we'll do the same with this one. Let's take out the bone. Our chicken meat is ready. Perfect job. Now let's chop up some carrots and the onion. Here are our carrots. Chop them up in the middle like so. And here's the onion. We simply split it into half, like so. Oh, Essie, you're so good at this. Okay, besties, let's put the ingredients inside the pie crust that we had a while ago. Looks like we have two pie crusts. Chicken meat goes in first. I'm on it, Isabella. Chicken here, whoa. And chicken there. Next, let's put some potatoes. Potatoes coming in, one here. And one there. Great, now let's add some carrots and green peas. Sure thing. Carrots here and here. Green peas. Hmm, I have an 
extra one. Let's put it here. And remember the onion that we sliced a while ago? Put half in each one of the pies. I sure remember that onion. Here's half of it. And here's another half of it. Now let's cover it up. There we go. Okay, Isabella, what's our next step? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's time to put them in the oven. Cool beans. Okay, here's one pot pie. And here's another pot pie. Woo! It fits perfectly. Let's close it up. Now we wait for a little bit. And while waiting, Mirabelle, you want to do a little dance party? Huh? You know me. I'm always up for a dance party. Sis, I think that's the oven. It is. Besties, our chicken pot pies are ready. Mmm, smells so good in here. Let's take them out of the oven. Mmm, it does smell yummy in here. Here's chicken pot pie number one and chicken pot pie number two. Ooh, look at all this yummy food that Mirabelle and Isabella made. You did a great job, sis. You too, sis. Aw, you guys both did an awesome job cooking. Aw, oh, thanks. I hope you besties enjoyed it and come back again next time. Nos vemos pronto. Hola chicos, it's me, Isabella. Since Halloween spirit is all over the air, Mirabelle and I decided that we are going to do a Halloween themed DIY activity today. Speaking of, where is Mirabelle? Mirabelle! Mirabelle! I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here! <gasps> Hola, hermana. Hola, besties. Mirabelle. Yeah. You're late. Am I? Yeah. And your hair looks kind of crazy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's because I just woke up. I overslept. Sorry. But I'm awake now. And I'm ready to do some Halloween do-it-yourself activity crafting. Arts and crafts. Right? Wait, what are we doing again? Ah, uh, sister, what am I gonna do with you? I know, I ask that myself sometimes. <laughs> You're so silly. Anyway, today, besties, we are going to create haunted houses. Spooky. Just like my hair. Antonio, bring on the kit. <sighs> Over here. Look at all the cool haunted houses that we can make. Oh, I can't wait to create one of them. This is gonna be so fun. Mirabelle, where are your shoes? My shoes? Huh, that's a good question. Oh dear. Okay, besties, let's get started. In this kit, we have, whoa, candy corns, green sugar that looks super shiny, so it kinda will look like glitters. Ooh, look at these candies. They're shaped as bats and we have orange and black. More candies. We have our cookies slash houses. We have a pair of decorating tips. That's nice. And more icing. This time it's color orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and go first. I wanna create a slime house. And I want some candy and candy corns on it. Ooh, a slime house. I like it. Okay, so I have a bond paper here just so we can make it as a base. And that way we can move around the house without ruining it. And then we are also going to need some cookie pieces. So let's put that right here. Connect it with this piece. Oh, no, wait. I don't know. I'm kind of just learning as we go. I don't know. Would that work? <gasps> I think it kind of worked. Now let's do the same with this one. Connect it here. Uh, okay. Ah! Okay. It's working, kind of, with icing on top. And now we can put the roof. We can now start the decorating part, which is the most exciting part. The slime are going to be the sugar, but it won't stick unless we have an icing um, base. We don't really need a thick layer. 
We just need enough for the glitter sugar to stick into. And before it dries up, let's go ahead and sprinkle our sugar on it. going to do the same on the other side. Let's add some candy corns! There we go. Now it's time to fill up the slimy parts of the house. As you can see here, it's kind of already um, stamped on the cookie. So all we have to do is fill that up with icing and then very quickly we're gonna sprinkle it with some sugar. So the same thing right here. It already has that stamp of um, slime. Next one right here at the back of the house, more slimy design. Okay, icing time. Ooh. That's much better. Okay, we need more right here on the other side. Also have a little bit more of slime splatters. Now let's decorate the front of the house. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make it pretty, but it's not working out for me. Let's get some of those candies, the round ones. Oh! <laughs> so now it looks like the house has black eyes. Wow! Now on to the door. Candy for the doorknob. Then let's add a little bit more design right here on the roof. Time for more candies! Yay! I think we are done! Here it is! Here is our slime house! Whoa! Let's turn it around so you can see all of it! Ta -ta -ta -ta. Ta -da. What do you think, Isabella? It looks spooky cute to me! I love it! It's finally my turn! I want a house with spider webs and lots of bats! It's gonna be spooky spooky! For our spider house, we are going to use these cookies. Let's decorate it with a spider web! Ah, oh, I like that idea. Alright. Let me try to make this spider web a little bit better than the first one. worse than the first one. That's the doorknob. And now let's see what we can do with the spiders. Oh my gosh, this looks like a smooshed spider. And then there's the head. Let's just put the little icing on the head part. That way we can kind of see the spider kind of crawling and not smooshed like the one on the roof. Ta-da! I like it! <laughs> la, 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 la. 
Let's have more fun right here on the roof part. Let's add more of those spider bats. Oh my goodness, this house is super spooky! Ta-da! And here it is. Here's Mirabelle's haunted house full of spider bats. Oh, it's super spooky and I love it! And that's it everyone! That's the end of our DIY do-it-yourself haunted house Halloween activity. Boo! <laughs> Happy Halloween to you, bestie! Boo! Yes! Happy Halloween indeed! Hi, Nikki! Hey there, Minnie! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Do we have an exciting video for you today! Oh dear! You're gonna love this one! But first, can you guys guess what I'm going to be as for Halloween this year? That's right! I'm gonna be a pumpkin! How about you, Nikki? Oh! <laughs> With my hat and my cape! Can you tell me what I'm going to be for Halloween this year? That's right! I am going as a magician! Oh dear! That's a fun costume! Well, well, well! Now that that is out of the way, it's time to make our Halloween activity for the day! We are going to create pumpkin patch cookies! Yay! Come on! Let's get started! Here it is! Here is the kit that we will be using! Ooh, look at all the cool pumpkin designs that we can make! Okay, I'll go first! You got it, Mimi! First, let's take out all the things that are inside the box! Uh-oh! We got our cookies here! We're gonna need some green icing! Black! Lots of orange! Orange and black sprinkles! More sprinkles! The white ones are shaped as ghosts! The black ones are bats, and the orange ones are pumpkin, I'm thinking. Ooh, and we also have some colorful round candies. Here's our pumpkin cookie. So since Minnie is dressed as a pumpkin, I figure we can make a pumpkin design in this cookie. So first thing we need is our orange icing. The kit didn't come with piping bags for our icing, but all we have to do is cut the end into a triangular um, hole and then we just push all the icing towards that hole. To make the pumpkin, let's go ahead and cover this part with the, the icing. Maybe we can get like a toothpick or something to spread the icing. Or we can use this one right here. It has a blunt tip and I think that will work great for spreading the icing all over the cookie. Okay, now let's create the little stalk right here on the top. That would be color green. So we're just gonna create here and then here. Next we're gonna put some eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So for the eyes, we're gonna make it triangle. Toothpick to the rescue. There, much better. Now we need a nose. Just a little tiny nose. Drag it up a little bit so it's triangular. And then the mouth. Oh, look at our pumpkin. It's actually so cute. Let's add some ghost sprinkles on the mouth. Ta-da! Here it is. Oh, goodness. This pumpkin is looking scary cute! Woohoo! My turn! I want to make a Frankenstein pumpkin cookie this time! You got it, Nikki! Frankenstein pumpkin cookie coming up! For that, we are going to need green icing. Let's 
get orange for the stock. Let's get some sprinkles. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> One sprinkle went to the face area. Wasn't supposed to be there, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get this one sprinkle out. Out, 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 out. Okay, we won't go out. I think we can just bury it inside. <laughs> then we get our black icing and we're going to line up the pumpkin with it. Let's give it some eyebrows. Frankenstein eyebrows, that is. That didn't turn out very well. You know what? It's not gonna be perfect. And that's okay. Because all we're doing here is having fun. So as long as you're having fun, you are doing it right. Well, that side is not perfect, but that's okay. And then this side where we kind of tried to fix it, we can always add some more green icing on there to hide that. There we go. Now let's work on the ice. Super tiny and cute. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. And then we're gonna give it a little quirky mouth. When I say quirky, kind of like wavy. He almost looks like he has mustache slash mouth. And I'm all here for it. I'm gonna put some ghost sprinkle on the eye. And on this eye. And then for the mouth, do you guys wanna put some pumpkin hearts? Ah, oh, that's what I'm gonna call it. Pumpkin hearts. It looks like hearts, but it also looks like pumpkins. Frankenstein has screws on each side of his face. Let's put the pumpkin hearts again. Voila! Here is Frankenstein! Ooh, spooky! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's do another one! This time we'll use some of these round candies! They look so colorful! We gotta use them! I agree! Okay, I have an idea. Let's make a candy stripe pumpkin. If you don't know what that means, I'll show you. <laughs> I kind of just made it up. We're gonna line up our cookie with orange icing. And then we're gonna add stripes. Now we put a little bit of green on top. Oh, that's cute! Now let's add some round candies on the stripes. We can use some blue, purple, and red. Maybe a little bit of green. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Oh, that looks so deliciously cute. <laughs> My turn, my turn! I want one with lots and lots and lots of sprinkles! Sounds like a fun idea! Okay, let's do black icing all over our pumpkin. Yay! Let's put a little bit of green. Spread out the black icing a little bit to fill in the gaps. And now time for the most fun part! Sprinkling it with sprinkles! We're just gonna go all in. There we go! 
there's our pumpkin cookie with lots and lots of sprinkles. What do you think, Mickey? Do you like it? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I like it. I love it. And here they are, our do-it-yourself DIY pumpkin patch Halloween cookies. We decorated them ourselves. That was so much fun. Thank you, besties, for helping Nini. Mickey and I in creating this fun Halloween cookies together. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Thank you besties for all your help. And I'll see you next time. Have a happy Halloween. Peace.